So yesterday, I have posted this Q&A on my Instagram page and you guys gave me so many good questions to pick from. And I have chosen some of my favorite ones. Um, so someone asks, how much math is required to master machine learning? Well, first of all, I'm not a master in machine learning. And anyone who says they are, they're either lying or they don't really see the potential in it. But if you're a beginner, I would say start learning uh, linear algebra and stick to principles like um, principal component analysis or and the composition of a matrix. You will see later on that when you think about machine learning, you're actually thinking about algorithms. And those algorithms are going to evolve a lot of matrices when you're handling the data. This is why it's important to know linear algebra. And then I would say continue with the probability theories and um, statistics. Statistics is very, very important to understand your algorithms. So learn the probability theories, learn conditional and joint distributions, learn Bernoulli, learn multinomial, learn binomial, learn all of those things. I know that sounds like a lot of information, but people learn this over a lot of years. So don't get discouraged if there's a lot of things that you don't understand. Everything will fall into place at the right time. Okay, so let's move on. Someone asks, uh, can Python have any utility in medicine? Well, you see, this is a very good question because when people are talking about artificial intelligence, um, they think about crazy stuff like robots uh, doing stuff on the assembly line or trucks driving themselves. And I do believe that the white collar jobs like lawyers and doctors would be the first jobs to go um, because this is how coding works, actually. Nowadays, for example, radiologists use AI to spot problems in people x-rays that human eye cannot see. And I heard and I believe that going to nursing school is actually a much better choice than going to the medical school because uh, basically a doctor's job is to spot patterns while a nurse's job is to keep the human interaction. Um, and I believe that in many ways the doctor's job makes for an easier algorithm. So yeah, stick to nursing. <laughs> Someone says, do you have any advice for a new data analyst? Well, my friend, when you go into a job, you have to focus on understanding your client's business. You cannot go around solving problems if you don't know what you're dealing with. You need to know their competitors. You need to look at their data with a critical eye, look at the variables they're having, look at the variables they think might be useful. So basically, don't go around trying to solve something you don't know much about. Just learn as much as you can and then go on to solving. Well, I hope that answered your question. Can you suggest any data science course? Well, to be honest, I haven't really checked it out, but I do believe there's some courses on Udemy out there. But I do know that soon I'm going to be coming up with my own data science beginners course and uh, stay tuned for that. But how about in the meantime, you keep learning on here with me because we're on this journey together. <laughs> okay, guys, I really hope this has answered your questions or have made you more clear on the questions that you've already had. There's some really great ones out here and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to do another one of these soon. So if you have any more questions, please list them down below and let me know what you think about this video. Thank you. Whew.